most people in America look for how do I make a life worth living in return with having who a man was in his past is always ever evolving to his present and who a man is in his present is never who he's going to remain to be unless of course he is unpleasant and attacking people like me the liars of America never stop their harm because they get away with it because they carry the long arm of the law or a gun and truthfully, they lie to America. They steal from us our rights. They steal from us our property. They steal from us our own power and might. We don't give it up. We don't enable it. But they take it without rights. America is a country and a nation of rights. Human rights. The Declaration of Human Rights was evolved out of our Constitution and our Bill of Rights. The truth is that our foundation for that opportunistic uh, doctrine is really what we're about today. When we're in the world today, we are always looking at whether or not the country and the companies within that country are behaving within the United Nations Human Rights Declaration. What I'm saying is when we have people in our own nation that don't even abide by the Human Rights Declaration, you just look at them and go, where have you been? What don't you understand about our history and heritage? Why is it that you're abusing your own lineage? I don't understand why you don't get your bloodline has come so far behind nothing that you are achieving every day, but you're only achieving if you're truly earning. Earning on your own mind, your own heart, your own soul, your own work. If you're trying to get ahead by stealing from others, you're not going to make it, and you're certainly not going to see heaven's gates. God is very clear about what he gifts to other people. And what he gifts to other people is the right to use the intellectual property, the creative work, and the mindset that the Lord gives them, not that the Lord gives you. Your devaluation of a human being, your dehumanization of a human being, your sexual assault on a human being, your shaving off a man's beard who's a priest is a, a major embarrassment to you as a person, to your family, of origin to your family of choice to your community and this is what you fail to see that when people are looking from the outside in at you what they see is not only poverty but poverty of mind stupidity of thinking and emotions that are still of that of a child